What is deformation in geology? In geology, deformation refers to the alteration or change in the shape, size, or position of rock bodies in response to various stressors acting upon them over time. This process is fundamental to the understanding of how the Earth's crust evolves and how geological structures such as mountains, valleys, and faults are formed. Deformation occurs due to the application of stress, which is the force applied to a material per unit area. There are three main types of stress that can cause deformation, compression, tension, and shear. Compression. Compression occurs when rocks are subjected to forces that push them together, causing them to shorten or decrease in volume. This type of stress commonly occurs at convergent plate boundaries where tectonic plates collide, leading to the formation of mountain ranges through processes like folding and faulting. Tension. Tension is the opposite of compression and occurs when rocks are pulled apart, causing them to elongate or stretch. Tensional stress is prevalent at divergent plate boundaries where tectonic plates move away from each other, resulting in the formation of rift valleys and mid-ocean ridges. Shear. Shear stress occurs when rocks are pushed in opposite directions along parallel planes, leading to a sliding or tearing motion. Shear deformation commonly results in the formation of faults, where rocks on either side of a fracture move relative to each other horizontally or vertically. Deformation can manifest in various geological features and structures, including folds, faults, joints, and foliations. Folds. Folds are bends or curves in rock layers caused by compressional forces. They can range from gentle undulations to tightly compressed folds, and they provide valuable information about the history of tectonic movements in an area. Faults. Faults are fractures in the Earth's crust along which movement has occurred. They are classified based on the direction of movement relative to the fault plane, e.g., normal faults, reverse faults, and strike-slip faults, and play a crucial role in accommodating tectonic stress and facilitating crustal movements. Joints. Joints are fractures in rocks where there has been no significant movement along the fracture plane. They result from the release of stress within the Earth's crust and often occur in parallel sets, influencing the overall strength and stability of rock masses. Foliation. Foliation refers to the alignment of mineral grains or the presence of preferred orientations of minerals within a rock. It commonly occurs in metamorphic rocks subjected to directional pressure, resulting in a layered or banded appearance. Understanding deformation processes is essential for interpreting geological structures, reconstructing past tectonic events, and predicting potential hazards such as earthquakes and landslides. Geologists utilize various methods, including structural analysis, field mapping, and geophysical techniques, to study deformation and its effects on the Earth's crust. Deformation Types Deformation in geology encompasses a diverse array of processes and mechanisms that alter the shape, structure, and arrangement of rocks and other geological materials. These deformation types occur across various scales, from microscopic grain-scale deformation to large-scale tectonic movements shaping continents. Here are some key deformation types. Elastic deformation. This type of deformation occurs when rocks bend or stretch under stress but return to their original shape once the stress is removed. It's analogous to stretching a rubber band, it deforms temporarily but springs back once the force is released. Elastic deformation is common in the shallow crust where rocks are relatively brittle and undergo reversible changes. Ductile deformation. Ductile deformation involves the permanent deformation of rocks without fracturing. It occurs under high temperatures and pressures, typically at greater depths within the Earth's crust. Rocks subjected to ductile deformation tend to flow and deform plastically, akin to the behavior of putty or clay. This process is responsible for the formation of features such as folds and foliation in metamorphic rocks. Brittle deformation Brittle deformation results in the fracturing and breaking of rocks when they exceed their elastic limits. It occurs in the shallower portions of the Earth's crust where temperatures and pressures are lower. Faulting, jointing, and cataclysis, crushing and comminution of rock, are common manifestations of brittle deformation. Earthquakes are often associated with sudden brittle failure along faults. Folding, 
folding involves the bending or curving of rock layers in response to compressive stresses. Folds range in scale from microscopic to regional and can exhibit various shapes, including anticlines, upward arching folds, and synclines, downward arching folds. They provide crucial insights into the tectonic history and deformational processes within a region. Faulting Faulting occurs when brittle rocks fracture and slide past each other along a plane of weakness known as a fault. Faults are classified based on the direction of movement relative to the fault plane, such as normal faults, where the hanging wall moves downward relative to the footwall, reverse faults, where the hanging wall moves upward relative to the footwall, and strike slip faults, where lateral movement predominates. Faults play a significant role in accommodating tectonic stresses and redistributing strain within the Earth's crust. Shear zones Shear zones are regions where rocks have undergone intense deformation due to shear stress. They often exhibit a highly foliated or lineated fabric and can accommodate significant displacements along narrow zones of intense deformation. Shear zones are crucial in understanding the dynamics of crustal deformation and the evolution of mountain belts. Fracturing and jointing Fractures and joints are planar discontinuities in rocks without significant movement along the fracture plane. They result from brittle deformation and can occur due to various stressors, including tectonic forces, cooling, and pressure release. Joints often form in parallel sets, influencing the mechanical behavior and permeability of rock masses. Understanding the various types of deformation and their associated geological features is essential for deciphering the complex history of Earth's crustal evolution, reconstructing past tectonic events, and assessing geological hazards. Geologists employ a combination of field observations, structural analysis, laboratory experiments, and numerical modeling to unravel the intricacies of deformation processes across different spatial and temporal scales. Process of deformation. Deformation in geology encompasses a multitude of processes that transform the shape, structure, and arrangement of rocks and geological materials over time. These processes can occur across various scales, from microscopic grain scale deformation to large scale tectonic movements that shape continents. Understanding the processes of deformation is crucial for deciphering the complex geological history of an area interpreting structural features, and predicting geological hazards. Here, we delve into some of the key processes of deformation. Tectonic forces Tectonic forces are the primary drivers of deformation on a global scale. These forces arise from the movement and interaction of Earth's tectonic plates, which make up the outer shell of the Earth's lithosphere. Convergence, divergence, and transform motion along plate boundaries result in compressional, tensional, and shear stresses, respectively, which deform the crust. Compression. Compression occurs when rocks are subjected to forces that push them together. This can happen at convergent plate boundaries, where tectonic plates collide. The compression leads to folding and faulting, resulting in the formation of mountain ranges, such as the Himalayas, where the Indian plate collides with the Eurasian plate. Tension. Tension is the opposite of compression and occurs when rocks are pulled apart. This typically occurs at divergent plate boundaries, where tectonic plates move away from each other. The tensional stress leads to the formation of rift valleys, mid-ocean ridges, and volcanic activity as magma rises to fill the gap created by the separating plates. Shear stress Shear stress occurs when forces are applied parallel to a surface but in opposite directions. This leads to sliding or tearing motion along planes of weakness in rocks, resulting in shear deformation. Shear stress is prevalent along transform plate boundaries, such as the San Andreas Fault in California, where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate slide past each other horizontally. Rock Properties The response of rocks to tectonic forces depends on their mechanical properties, including elasticity, strength, and viscosity. Brittle rocks, such as granite, tend to fracture when subjected to stress, resulting in faulting and jointing. Ductile rocks, such as shale and marble, deform plastically under high pressure and temperature, leading to folding and foliation. Temperature and pressure 
temperature and pressure play significant roles in determining the behavior of rocks under stress. At greater depths within the Earth's crust, where temperatures and pressures are higher, rocks are more likely to deform ductily. Metamorphic processes can also alter the mechanical properties of rocks, affecting their response to deformation. Time, deformation is often a time-dependent process, with significant changes occurring over geological timescales. Slow, continuous deformation can lead to the gradual evolution of mountain ranges and the development of large-scale geological structures. However, sudden, Catastrophic events such as earthquakes can also cause rapid deformation over short timescales. Fluids, the presence of fluids, such as water and magma, can influence the deformation behavior of rocks. Fluids can enhance the ductility of rocks by reducing friction along fault surfaces and promoting chemical reactions that weaken the rock matrix. They can also facilitate the transport of material leading to processes like metamorphism and hydrothermal alteration. By studying the processes of deformation and their effects on rocks and geological structures, geologists can unravel the dynamic history of Earth's crustal evolution, reconstruct past tectonic events, and assess the potential for geological hazards such as earthquakes, landslides, and volcanic eruptions. This knowledge is crucial for understanding the Earth's past, present, and future geological dynamics. Results of deformation Deformation in geology leads to a wide range of results that profoundly impact the Earth's crust and surface morphology. These results can vary depending on the type, intensity, and duration of the deformation process. Here, we explore some of the significant results of deformation. Formation of geological structures, Deformation gives rise to a variety of geological structures that provide valuable insights into the tectonic history and evolution of a region. These structures include folds, faults, joints, foliations, and shear zones. Folds, for example, reveal the compressional forces that have acted on rock layers, while faults indicate the locations where rocks have fractured and moved relative to each other. Studying these structures helps geologists reconstruct past tectonic events and understand the forces shaping the Earth's crust. Mountain building, one of the most significant results of deformation is the formation of mountain ranges and other topographic highs. Compression along convergent plate boundaries leads to the uplift and folding of crustal rocks, creating towering mountain chains like the Andes, the Alps, and the Himalayas. These mountain ranges not only shape landscapes but also influence regional climate patterns, erosion rates, and biological diversity. Basin formation, in contrast to mountain building, deformation can also lead to the subsidence and formation of basins or depressions in the Earth's crust. Extensional forces at divergent plate boundaries or within continental interiors can cause crustal stretching and thinning, resulting in the subsidence of large sedimentary basins. These basins often accumulate vast thicknesses of sedimentary deposits, which can record information about past environmental conditions, tectonic events, and biological evolution. Metamorphism, deformation is closely associated with metamorphic processes, which occur when rocks are subjected to high temperatures and pressures without melting. During deformation, rocks can undergo metamorphic changes, such as recrystallization, foliation development, and mineral reorientation. Metamorphism can produce a wide range of rock types, including slate, schist, gneiss, and marble, depending on the intensity and duration of deformation and the chemical composition of the original rock. Earthquakes, deformation along faults and other brittle structures can generate earthquakes, which are sudden releases of accumulated strain energy in the Earth's crust. Earthquakes result from the rapid movement of rocks along fault planes, causing ground shaking and potentially damaging effects on infrastructure and human populations. Seismic activity associated with deformation provides critical information about the distribution of stress within the crust and helps assess seismic hazards in earthquake-prone regions. Tectonic plate interactions, deformation plays a fundamental role in the dynamics of plate tectonics, driving the movement and interaction of Earth's lithospheric plates. Convergence, divergence, 
and transform motion along plate boundaries result in various deformational features, including subduction zones, mid-ocean ridges, and transform faults. These interactions influence global geophysical processes, such as mantle convection, seafloor spreading, and the cycling of earth materials. Resource formation and concentration Deformation processes can concentrate and localize valuable mineral and energy resources within the Earth's crust. Structural deformation, such as folding and faulting, can create traps and reservoirs for hydrocarbons, ores, and groundwater. Understanding the spatial distribution of deformational features is essential for exploration and exploitation activities in the mining, oil, and gas industries. Landscape evolution Deformation shapes the Earth's surface over long periods, contributing to the evolution of landscapes and landforms. Erosion and weathering processes acting on deformed rocks gradually sculpt mountains, valleys, canyons, and coastal features. The interaction between tectonic forces, climate, and surface processes determines the morphology and geomorphological evolution of landscapes worldwide. By studying the results of deformation, geologists gain valuable insights into the dynamic processes shaping the Earth's crust and surface environments. This knowledge not only helps unravel the geological history of our planet but also informs societal decisions related to resource management, hazard mitigation, and sustainable development.